back to Cottonwood, man. Talk about them old days, man. <laughs> that was the place. SIU guys would come out there and everything, man. I came up when I moved up here. I ain't know they was playing basketball. I thought it was foul ball. All I heard was foul. <laughs> oh, like, man, come on, man. Man, What's you take you? a half hour arguing about it's my call. It's my call. You were the next generation, though. When we played, it wasn't no foul. You see that column on the wall about Brandon, don't you? Yeah, they got, they got the little article up. Germany overseas first year first year pro and everything is giants. I appreciate y'all letting us stop through here right, man, man. For sure. Always always shooting until the street lights came on. I think that's kind of where this takes me back to. Bring you guys back here, just to escape. Basketball gave me first love for me growing up. Really, really as far as sports, my only really true love, playing ball, coming out here. One of those situations, man, you did not want to get caught sitting in the house with a family full of six. It's always a chore to do always something that's going to happen. So you wanted to get out the house as much as possible. So this is pretty much your escape. It was either here playing football, tag, kickball, on the basketball court, shooting hoops. Um, but this is kind of every hooper, every real hooper coming up in the area grew up kind of in Cottonwood. I grew up in Village 5. Um, so each village or each section in the circle kind of had their own hooper and they would travel in to each other. We didn't have trainer back in the day. If you were anybody or somebody, you was growing up on these courts, uh, kind of developing your street cred, getting a name for yourself, getting your street name. For those who know, those are the day ones. They called me lovely back then, lovely. So if you ever hear me walking down and somebody screams lovely. I know it's one of the old friends, one of somebody who came back from the Cottonwood days. It was just a good feeling, man. This is kind of where it all started. Cottonwood, Circle 5, Village 5. High school basketball was a great experience. Growing up under the leadership of Mike Waldo, and I was introduced to the IQ and the systems of the game, really changing my street basketball feel from N1 to more of a on-game experience, five on five with referees. Just learning how to play organized basketball, disciplined basketball, and structured basketball. This is history of Everfield basketball. Usually every senior gets their own kind of individual portrait than any type of accomplishments, winning regional, state, those different things. 2005, state, state run we had. I was a sophomore in there, front row. Uh, 2008, came back, sectional, regionals. 2008, here we are. 2020 coming around. That's scary. How many years is that? That's 12 years. That's scary, man. We just kept working, that's it. Hard work, dedication. That's all we preach. Kept moving and look at us now. Yeah.
freshman year of college uh, was a bit of a struggle for me, uh, trying to make adjustments to a more fast paced game um, and was really struggling, really kind of contemplating if I really wanted to play the game of basketball. Calling back home, trying to figure out if college sports was for me. Um, my sophomore year, we ended up getting a new coach that kind of really brought a little bit more life, kind of excitement to the game, uh, really rallied behind me and kind of let me know that I was the athlete that they were looking for. And they really pushed me and really gave me the confidence to compete at a higher level. After college, uh, being an All-American, I had the opportunity to go to a camp in Vegas and kind of showcase my skills and was later picked up by an agent out of Germany that kind of gave me my first shot at overseas basketball and I signed my first contract with uh, Northern Germany. January 14th, 2010, 9.52 p.m. I witnessed my friend, my best friend, pass away on the court playing the game we both love. Many people ask me why, you know, I chose to stop my career so early. Through that time over there, the five years I spent were fun, amazing, but at the same time were years of testing for me. And I just found myself wanting to be bigger than basketball and uh, have a bigger mission than basketball. And I think from that day, um, 2010, uh, I just realized the game was way bigger than basketball. Jerron Lewis, forever in our hearts.